Okay, well, hi, welcome to Cobra Island. This week we are doing the beginning of Decepticons month here on Cobra Island, where today we are starting with Megatron, the Titans, Mass Titan Returns, uh, toy line. But before we get to Megatron, I want to do my special dedication that I did Friday on my anniversary video to my friend Leland Carter. Hope you get to watch these videos, buddy, because uh, every last one this month is dedicated to you. Um, so if I can send out a prayer request for, for my Cobra Island residents to uh, Mr. Leland. Um, as of filming this video, he's uh, stage four uh, cancer. And his treatments hasn't been going well from what, I understand, what I've been told. Um, he had also lost his parents a year, about a year or so back to, uh, to COVID. And uh, his sister was in an accident and she actually survived it. And, but but his, also his partner uh, was also in an accident. And, but unfortunately he didn't. He did not make it. Um, so I'm sending condolences to him for his, his losses. Um, he's in my prayers, Leland. You are in my prayers if you're watching this. And uh, God's God's in control. God's timing is perfect. Best advice I can give you, my friend. But uh, let's get on to our shout outs of the week. Starting with back to the media at 48 South Loudon Street here in lovely Winchester, Virginia. Um, where you can buy the Atari and other video game systems up to current current systems. You can also get all your uh, video game uh, video game needs and accessories. You can also get comics and Funko Pops and other different kind of collectibles and records and whatnot. They're a good store. I love uh, going in there and uh, doing stuff there and getting stuff from there. As well as Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. Um, which unfortunately isn't... I think that's where I got this guy. Actually, I did get this Titans Return Megatron from there. Actually, I do believe I did. And, uh... Actually, I did get him from there. And I'm actually glad that I did. Um, you'll see my opinions later on in this video, but I'm still glad to have it because it's Megatron. You got to have, if you have a Transformer collection, you got to have Megs in your collection. But this is a Headmasters, which is part of the reason why I got him. But more on that later. But you could get all kinds of Transformers and G.I. Joe and He-Man and wrestling stuff and uh, Thundercats, TD Sweet Ninja Turtles, you name it, you could get it there. So you definitely go and check them out. And if you got a comic book itch, go to 80 Weems Lane to Four Color Fantasies and check them out. I highly suggest it. So, uh, definitely go and check that out. And check them out. And if you need any banking needs and you're in the Winchester area or, uh, the Clark County area, go and check them out. They are a very awesome bank. They got great customer service. They, they are well equipped in saving your money and helping you with money and all your banking needs. Good fraud protection on your debit cards and whatnot for any internet purchases you make. But, um, so definitely check them out. And, uh, if you need any kind of counseling, I would say go to 80 Weems Lane to Four Color Fantasies. Go ahead and check them out. You can, you can get them there. Uh, you can get, see him there, get all the counseling you need. Good guy to talk to, easy to listen to. We've been friends for over 15 years. So I ain't got nothing to say bad about the guy. But uh, it's a good guy to go to. So let's get it on to our feature presentation of the Titans Return Megs. And uh, we're going to start with Doomshot here, which is his little Titan Master. And uh, as you can tell by his, you know, you do his articulation, it's very limited. His arm can go to about that high. His head can turn and a little bit of wiggly waggly his legs can move like this as well as he can also move his legs to the front it's about all he can do and that really leads into his transformation right here you know wow well hang on one second i almost dropped him that's not good not good 
I can't drop your head there, Megs. Which Doom Shot can transform to Megatron's head? So, if with this is Megatron in jet mode, which is, I think, his better mode of the two. As you can see, there's the cannon tour for tank mode. But, you know, it's very good jet here. Like I said, this is the best mode he's got. But I will keep him in display in robot mode. Which is actually his second best mode. This is robot mode. But this is the jet mode. I think the jet looks awesome. It looks a lot better than Starscream. But that's my opinion. But, you know, let's take a look at him in tank mode. So, here's Megs in tank mode. As you can tell, the tank mode is very ugly. Because you can see the robot kibble. Or not the robot kibble, but the jet kibble with the thrusters right there in the front. As well as the uh, nose cone in the front. Or the front of the jet right there in the back. But this is tank mode. For Megs. Not a good looking tank, but it serves its purpose, uh, being it's a triple changer. This is the same mold, ironically, as Blitzwig of Titan's Return, but, you know, this Megs was introduced first before Blitzwig, so Blitzwig uh, would be considered the pre-mold for this version of Megs, or, yeah, or whatever, but, uh, or Gav Megatron is the advanced look, but yeah, this is Megs in tank mode. I don't think it's all that great, but you know, serves his purpose as a Megatron, as an alt mode for Megatron, because he was a tank at one time as well in the movies, and in the Netflix series, he was a tank, but I think the Netflix and the other tank mode in Revenge of the Fallen, I believe it was, was a better mold. You know, than this was. This was just a compromised mode because of what he was. But, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at Megs in robot mode. So here's the third mode for Megatron. Robot mode. As you can tell. You know, of course, I don't like the... I wish this piece right there at the top was black just like the rest of the fusion cannon. Which makes the fusion cannon on the arm. Only drawback. <coughs> um, but that's... That's my opinion. And uh, this is, as you can see, you got where you can see the tank turret right there. And basically, what's going on. And his articulation, of course, starting with the noggin, he does have side to side motion. You know, when I can't really look up and down on his arms, he's got, of course, he can rotate all the way around and whatnot, bends at the elbow. You know, and so on and so forth. His legs, he lift about there. Good knee joint, with good knee bend. He can also bend at the legs this way. Really good. I mean, you can do a lot for him being a robot. This is a really good functioning Megatron. I mean, I think the war, the war for Cybertron series really nailed the uh, cartoon accuracy look of Megatron down to a pat you know but that's my opinion um, but this is a good thing if you need a Megatron and this is the only one you can get I would say get it just because it's Megatron but my otherwise I wouldn't you know and if you like Headmasters this would be a good Megatron to get, or Titan Masters, whatever you want to call them, this is a good Megatron to get. I would write this as a mediocre, middle tier, doesn't feel like Meg's Megatron to me. But it's still a good Megatron uh, to get to for your collection, especially if you're collecting, trying to collect all the Headmasters slash Titan Masters, or Target Masters, this is a great one to get, because uh, you got to have a bad guy leader. You can also get the Galvatron Titan Master too, you know. But it's all it's all what uh, what you the consumer gets or the toy collector gets. I mean, I am glad that I have this in my collection. I'm glad that he's here. Um, so I would suggest getting it. You can see MGO 360 with his review, as well as Prime uh, Prime versus Prime. You can also see up to bottom is his review on it and take on it. 
um, other Transformer reviewers, you could just check out their channel. But, uh, so go ahead and check them out also. Just don't take my word for it. But, uh, I would get this. This would be a good get. But, uh, tune in next week as we do another Transformer. And I promise you, each Sunday from here on out is a better video than, a better video than this. Uh, with better rankings. But, uh, I can promise you that. But, uh, this is for Leland, so I did my best. I hope y'all. I hope y'all watch this, and Leland. I hope you get to watch these videos, brother. Um, my prayers are with you and and whatnot, and your sister, and you know whatnot. But uh, I hope you get to enjoy this dedication. This whole month dedicated to you, Leland. But uh, tune in next time. Actually, tune in Monday. As a matter of fact, as I will be reviewing a Cobra uh, Cobra uh, toy for Cobra Convergence Six. Uh, I'm glad to be a part of it again this year for the second year. Uh, check this out, man. Check out all the rest of the Cobra Convergence videos, too, this whole month. Uh, cause it's, they're, they're pretty awesome, dude, so far. So far, they're all awesome. You know, the first three. But, uh, check them out. This has been Cobra Island, uh, and until all are one, see you in the next one. Peace.